Do you ever just see the potential in people? I do. I see it in everyone. When I was in LA last year on a trip that I'd earned, I attended a new leader conference for Beachbody Rising Stars. The seminars were all amazing and I sucked up all of the knowledge I could possibly absorb. One of the training sessions was led by Michael Neiman, one of our top executives. He is super intelligent and funny all at the same time. He told the story about this. Please listen to this whole thing. Dull Rats and Bright Rats, Rosenthal, 1963. The effect of the experimenter bias on performance of the albino rat, behavioral science. I'm going to tell you his story the way I perceived it. The study was about a group of college students who were told that they were going to be maze testing some rats. The class was divided into two and half of the class would get the maze bright rats. He wanted them to believe that these rats were bred year after year to be super smart in a maze. And the other half of the class was going to get the maze dull rats. All of the rats would be put through the same maze testing and they would report their results. Guess what? The results of the supposed maize bright rats did way better than the maize dull rats. Why? Experimenter bias, the people running the experiment. The 12 who had the maize bright rats believed their rats were so intelligent that they did better. And the 12 who had the maize dull rats had no faith in them, so they performed far worse. Wow. To take it a step further, Michael said they tried this with kindergarten students. The teachers were told that some of their new students were super bright and some of them were not very smart at all. The teachers believed what they were told and guess what? At the end of the study, the kindergarten students that were believed to be super bright were excelling in school and the students that were believed to be not the brightest were struggling in school. So sad. Experimenter bias. When the teachers believed their intelligence of their students was amazing, they did well. Here is where I got my best compliment ever. During this moment at our conference in LA, my own coach, Dana Nevy, kicked me under the table and she said, Sarah, this is why your challengers all do so amazing at changing their lives. You believe all your rats are bright. I cried. It is so true. If a person like me can achieve what I've achieved in such a short amount of time, I know and I believe that anyone can. If I can do it, so can you. I believe, I do believe, I believe it with all that is inside me. I pray a lot and I want nothing more for, for those of you around me to succeed at every single thing and be happy and healthy and love yourself every, sing, every single day. I am thankful for Michael's seminar. It solidified my belief in the power of the fact that Anything and everything is possible if you believe. So believe in your kids, believe in your spouse, and most of all, believe in yourself. You, my friend, can do anything.